guys so I'm going over how to make the Maleficent or the Descendants inspired hair bow um, I did not do a video on um, the actual stitch out it's pretty self-explanatory if you have not put together one of my bows before please watch some of my other videos on like from start to finish um, but these are all the pieces these three stitch out in one hoop and then these three stitch out in another separate five by seven hoop so you'll need two five by seven hoopings for this particular um bow so the only thing i will say i just cut out my pieces regularly um the only thing um right here in the horns the maleficent horns you're going to use a stitch ripper uh, right in between that little stitched um, rectangle i have there to cut a hole because we're going to be sticking the middle of our bow through there at the end to hold this piece together if you want to make this bow more mal um, versus Maleficent, just leave this piece out and then you could kind of change up the colors a little bit to um, make it more mal inspired versus doing the Maleficent bow. Three steps on this particular hooping makes it pretty easy. It's a pretty quick stitch out. So my bottom piece here. This is going to be my first loop. Have some of my clips here. I got my hot glue gun ready to go. I'm gonna stick my dot of glue there on this um, on the end, bring it into the center. Same with the other side. And then I'm gonna take my clip here in the center just to hold the glue together until that has a little bit of a chance to dry. I'm gonna do the same thing with this black piece, which is gonna be our inner loop. Now this bow is pretty stacked, so um, if you wanted to bring it down a notch, you definitely don't have to do the second loop, but I made this one pretty over the top. <laughs> so again, clamping here just so that glue has some time to dry. So this is in my second hooping. Um, again, it will do a full placement stitching for these three pieces um, and then a tack down stitching for this piece, this piece, and this piece. And then it'll go ahead and do the um, outer stitching on your inner loops, Maleficent horns, um, and then it'll go to doing the stitch out for this. So what I did was I used purple felt on the back of these two pieces and then I went to a yellow felt for this um, because you don't want to cover your whole back hoop with your felt. With this piece I went ahead and just did green all the way through so that it wasn't a big deal and I didn't have to make sure I wasn't over one design or the other but with this particular one I didn't want to have to see the stitching on the back of this so I you know made sure my my purple felt was not in the area where this is gonna stitch out that final stitch after it does all of the um, embroidery stitching. So our first step is gonna be to take the uh, Maleficent horns. If you're gonna put this on, put your glue, I'm just doing a center piece of glue here, and then this notch lines up with the bottom of this part of the bow, so it's perfectly aligned, you know where your center is, it lines perfectly up there. And then you'll notice where you um, have your cutout is right at the top of the bow so that that center piece can go through. And you can add some more glue to the back here to just make this a little bit more of a sturdy piece. Now I'm going to glue my loops on there, my first set of loops, and just make sure you do not cover up that slit that we made for the ribbon to go through, or for your center portion to go through. So it kind of lines up with the bottom of the bow. Just wipe away any excess hot glue that you have. with the next loop line it up center and push down so this one's a super stacked over-the-top bow 
If you wanted to just do the larger loops on the bottom, you could. I went ahead and just went all out on this one. <laughs> okay. And then our descendants piece is gonna go right here in the center. Uh, but before I do that, I like to have a center um, piece. It holds it down better. And um, sometimes too, whenever I have it this stacked, I like to use this, which comes in like the, um, let's see what section it's in. It's where like the yarns are in Hobby Lobby. And I just get a roll of this, it's pretty inexpensive. And I just cut off a piece. And I'm gonna wrap it around just as I would this center piece to give it extra, something extra to hold it together. So I'm going through that. I'm just gonna go around it twice and I'll tie in the back. Just to give it a little bit more stability once they start yanking on it in their hair, you don't want these loops to come apart. And this part's gonna be covered up by that center piece anyway. So it's just extra support. You don't have to do this. I just, I recommend it just to give some extra stability to the bows. And you could use like yarn if you wanted to or even thread, just wrapping it around a couple extra times. But I like this stuff because it, it's pretty tough. Doesn't break super easy. All right, snipping that off. Doesn't have to look pretty. So on this one, you are actually going to put your, the top of your bow center through your hole, like this. And then take your glue and get this side down. It's just the easiest way to do it so that you don't end up pulling um, this off later. So I would let that dry for a few minutes. And then stick it in your center. And giving it a little bit of a tug so that it is a tight squeeze. And finishing up on this bottom tab. So this has a lot of glue on it, this center rectangle piece. It's just gonna come right up together. This one being so uh, big and heavy, a barrette clip would probably be best fit. I, I like alligator clips, but this one, since it's so bulky, I would probably go with something a little heavier and do like a barrette clip. And I would just glue that right on the back. I mean, it looks really nice and finished on the back side. And we'd have our bread on the back there. So that's how it looks now. And of course you could leave it like that if you just wanted to do, but we are gonna put our little center on here. I don't, um, let's see, yeah, it's pretty flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dot my glue right here in the center. And line up my little embroidered apple. Look at it. And press down, and you could, um, I mean, you could add more hot glue on the sides if you want to ensure that it's not going to pop off. I'm going to leave it. So it looks pretty good. So that right there is how to assemble your Descendants or Maleficent inspired stacked hair bow. I hope you enjoy, and I can't wait to see what you guys make on the page. Thanks for watching.